Today we're making this amazing 10 minute no oven chocolate cake using a frying pan. You loved last week's video and you wanted the chocolate version. This is easy, fudgy, and satisfying. Before we get into the video, I just wanna give a big shout out to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. So we're gonna start by melting some butter on the stove. I said this in my previous video, because we're gonna make this cake on the stove, it's best to use a heavy bottom frying pan. I'll leave a similar one to the one I'm using on my website, but just know that any well-made heavy pan works. We just want to melt the butter, so it's not supposed to sizzle, it's not supposed to fry, okay? Swirl the pan so you grease the sides of the pan and the cake won't stick, and you're gonna take this off the stove. Okay, so we're gonna make the cake directly in the pan, so if you have a scale, that's great, because you you don't have to dirty any measuring cups and it's easy cleanup. It's a one bowl recipe, in this case, a one frying pan recipe. One, one frying pan cake recipe. Wait, how do you say that? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna start by blooming the cocoa powder. This means adding cocoa powder to any type of hot liquid to bring out and intensify its flavor. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. I've added the sugar and the egg and you want to give everything a good mix. Please use a whisk that won't scratch your frying pan. So if you don't have a silicone whisk, use a spatula. This needs to be said because you don't want to ruin your pan. Okay. So you're gonna add the flour and baking soda and milk. I did sift my flour beforehand and I highly recommend you do that because the flour will combine much more easily and you won't have any lumps. Okay, so believe it or not, this is ready. Give it one last stir, making sure to scrape the bottom and the sides of the pan. And we're gonna cook this on the stove over low heat covered with a lid for about 10 to 12 minutes. Every stove is different, so you don't want to walk away. Keep an eye on it. I know this will look a bit weird. That's due to the condensation. You know, the water droplets fall from the lid onto the cake, forming holes. It's not gonna look pretty, okay? But I promise you, it's gonna be delicious. Do the toothpick test. Those are fluffy crumbs on the toothpick, so there shouldn't be any wet batter on the toothpick. You're gonna cover this again and take it off the heat. This just ensures you that the remaining heat will finish cooking the cake. You're gonna transfer your black mood onto some parchment paper or a, you know, a, what's it called? A cooling rag and let this cool completely. I am gonna turn this over so you can see the bottom of the cake is soft and perfectly cooked. It's not burnt and that's because we use gentle heat and a heavy bottom pan. Okay, so once cool, you're gonna transfer this back into the frying pan because we're gonna drench this in milk. The cake is already soft as is, but adding that milk just takes this cake to another level of fluffiness and tenderness. I did poke some holes and I'm gonna soak my cake with chocolate milk. You don't have to use chocolate milk, plain milk works perfectly fine. Okay, so while the cake is soaking up all that delicious milk, I want to briefly talk to you about today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. I discovered ExpressVPN about a month ago and I have been using it on a daily basis. Some of the things you can do with it, I didn't think were possible. What I personally love about ExpressVPN is that you can access websites that otherwise you would not be able to access in your country. I'm sure you know this, in case you don't, I do live in Italy, so I do have Italian Netflix. So I don't get to see all the movies or TV shows I would want, but by simply switching my location to the United States, I'm able to watch American Netflix. I also love using it with YouTube. My trending page is full of Italian content, which I personally don't watch. I watch American YouTubers, and again, by simply switching to the United States, I can see what's trending in America. It's really cool, and I highly recommend you try it out. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box below. Go to expressvpn.com slash Emma. Okay, so we're gonna make the frosting. Now you can use any frosting you like. I did have a small amount of leftover ganache that I wanted to use, and I also had some leftover Nutella from lockdown. People were hoarding yeast in Italy, okay? And I thought, you know what they're not gonna take? They're not gonna take Nutella. Of course, I'll leave the exact recipe in the description box along with another type of ganache on my website. You're gonna drench, no, you're gonna spread <laughs> the frosting all over your cake and my mouth is watering. <laughs> I had to swallow. Um, and we're ready. We're ready to cut into this baby. If you are craving a quick, delicious chocolate cake, this is definitely it. It's moist and fudgy and amazing. You will love this. 